Yeah, here we are. We got a 52 farm all cab. I said the double turn plows behind it. This is Roger Clark, my buddy from down in South Shore, Kentucky, running the tractor for me. I get an idea how these things work. Old tractor's a little old. She smokes a little bit. Not real big on power, but does a real nice job. Now this is previously plowed ground that we're in. This is where we raised cucumbers last year, so it doesn't work the tractor real hard. Get down here where you can see the wall on the fur. It does a real nice job in it. Probably put this on YouTube. I hate the winds blowing out here and I hope it doesn't show up in the video, but to adjust the chain link, one link right there so the plow locks in a little better when you raise up the hydraulic lift on it. These little farm all cubs, they're, they're a good little tractor, they're real easy on fuel. The only problem I've got with them is when you change the implements, you have to, everything bolts and unbolts. They're, they're a little bit of an ordeal to change from one thing to the other. But once you get them hooked up, they really work nice. We're cutting about about eight inches deep right there. That's about as far as you can go with that little tractor. Old girl's needing some paint put on her and needing some new decals, but in the farming you just don't have time to get to this stuff sometimes. Pulls a little harder. He's going up a grade right there. Like I said, the old tractor, yeah, she smokes a little, getting a little low on power. Maybe this fall we'll get a chance to take her down, do a rebuild on it, give her some new valves, maybe some new rings, clean her up a bit. Like I said before, this is a 1952 Farm All Cub.
walk up there, you can see how pretty that furrow wall is. You can see it in this, taking this from an iPhone. Hit a little hard spot there. She pulled a little bit rough. But... Everything, all the stuff starting to green up around here for the year. The leaves on the trees are just now starting to come on. We're here outside of Barbersville, West Virginia. Little farm we call T and R Farms. Have him adjust the draft up a click. A little bit deep there, and that's what's making her pull the draw bar rubs the high side of the furrow wall there. That sounds a little better. Looks like the draw bar's riding about two inches off the ridge of the furrow wall. This little garden right here is, I think it measures 40 feet wide, post to post, 60 feet long. And it took us about 20 minutes here to plow it probably, 15, 20 minutes. Single plows, it goes a little slower. He's just pulling 12 inch plows there. And, but as long as you don't take too big a bite, you get a little more tractor time and able to enjoy your tractor a little more. It's not a race anyway. We have three farm all M's and I've got a set of uh, double 14 trailer plows. So actually they're good for three 16s, but two 14s does fine on this little farm. We're only plowing a couple acres each year and really get to enjoy our tractors. Well, he's about one fur, one or two fur short of finishing this up. We'll uh, show you the creek over here behind this. This is where we put a pump in here. I had this water tested in this creek last summer and the water runs about 92 to 96 percent pure. So we use it for water in the gardens. The holler we live in, you can see more gardens up through there and the lettuce bed over there with the white cover on it. But we raise a lot of gardens here. Well, a lot for this area, but uh, it takes a lot of water in the summer when the rains dry up. We're able to put the pumps to it and irrigate. 
don't have much money invested that way. Well, this is Tony Woodrum with T&R Farms and I'm going to sign out and let you guys get to some other videos. Lots of interesting stuff out there and hope you've enjoyed this. Catch y'all later.